Hey everyone, welcome back to Metroid Dread Hard Mode Playthrough. Last time we found, uh, well, we defeated the blue uh, Emmy. That means there's only like two Emmys left, I believe. And it, uh, one of them is a wave beam uh, Emmy, so uh, we're doing pretty good progress when it comes to the Emmy. That being said, we're still not quite done with the game yet. Uh, as in, we're not like, it doesn't feel like we're halfway through the game, even though we probably are. In fact, I passed a four hour playthrough mark, so uh, I think I want to go up there if I can. I don't think I can. <laughs> Am I stuck over here? Well, not really, because uh, I can do this if uh, the game lets me. Whoops. Here we go. Feels like I'm sequence breaking, but I'm pretty sure the devs accounted for this. And we defeated that thing, so that means we, are, we have to fight a boss soon, right? Well, where are we gonna fight it? Oh, about right here. Well, actually, no, this is not a boss. It's already dead. And now it's... Oh, the giant thing. Lame. Hey, you're the boss. And that didn't well work. I'm almost dead already. <laughs> I was supposed to speed boost this thing, but... Yeah, I died. But <laughs> I was trying to do the speed boost trick to damage it early, but I forgot that it's got armor. So that did not work out. But yeah, the speed booster can be used against bosses in this game. It's actually quite unusual, and it's a welcome change, honestly. The fact that you can use the speed boost to actually damage bosses. Because you could charge the speed boost in some areas in the earlier games, but you could never really damage the bosses with it. With it. Man, you are slow compared to the boss. This boss isn't particularly difficult, by the way. If I had just uh, fought it normally, I probably would have done better. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping that would uh, happen faster. I did want to use a speed boost against it at least once, but this is going to be a lot of footage that I'm going to have to get uh, rid of during the long play. Kind of annoying. I used it against the normal one. Gotcha! It even has an animation for getting hit. Ow. What the? What hit me? Huh? Yeah, this boss's attacks are a little weird. It also, it, it does give you a pretty unique item though. Which uh, I would welcome coming back. Uh, they're releasing 2D games, I don't know if it would work in 3D games. Oops, I uh, didn't get to charge this time. Oh, the thing was still fault. It's still homing in on me, that's the problem. Okay, I didn't even notice that it was still homing in on me. Uh, by the way, I should use the flash here for now. I died to this thing like six times already. Kind of ridiculous. But of course, it's because I'm experimenting with it. I never, like in my normal playthrough, I never did use the speed booster against it, so... This is new ground for me. Opportunity. 
die. Oh, come on! I was walking backwards! Samus' speed uh, while running is actually kind of weird. The boost you get from turning around seems to be greater than uh, just uh, running normally. Either that or the thing was accelerating faster than expected. Anyway, that's like death number 7 or 8 or something. Embarrassing! again I'm not sure where I was supposed to go there <laughs> Oh, but it's not done yet. For a lot of people, this must have been a real treat to see the uh, core X's again. For those who aren't aware, core X's were basically a boss you fought very often in the uh, fusion game. Finally! <laughs> Too many deaths to this boss, but of course I was experimenting, so it's kind of not, not surprising that it happened. And the cross bomb is a fairly unique uh, addition to the franchise, I want to say. Like an upgrade to the bomb that's not just like the power bomb, right? And this, the cross bomb would be what we would need to get to through uh, to some uh, uh, items, right? Like one of the earlier ones where I used the flash shift while I was in Morph Ball after unmorphing, that would be one of the items I would use for it. Uh, for how we use the uh, cross bomb, uh, we just uh, plant it like it's a missile while in Morph Ball. And it yeah, this is how uh, different it is in terms of uh, puzzle solving capabilities. Pretty cool. Hmm, but what about the screw attack? Will we be getting that anytime soon? No idea. Better not die. <laughs> just gonna do a safety save just in case, even though there's a checkpoint that's saved after you get the item. And I had to take a sip of drink. Just a sip in general, I should say. So, where do I go from here anyway? Back here, I guess. Hmm. Access closed. I need a screw attack, that's right. So I gotta find screw attack. Pretty sure I'm supposed to go up there, actually. Okay, 
come on. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure to get screwed back, I have to go... In the area just below me right now. I don't believe cross bomb actually worked for it. Also, I can go here now, so that's just the thing. The game made it pretty, fairly clear this is where you need to go next. As soon as I got here. Time for a new war point. Are we going to a new area period though? No, we're going back to uh, Perenia. I may have referred to Perenia as Daron at some point. That's my bad. <laughs> Back to Ferenia. And we are actually going to be able to do some progress in this area now. Because this is like the main door to the place. <laughs> Die. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, we're going to have to do a lot of... Uh, uh, speed boosting attempts right now because there is a item right here that involves a lot of that I can do this properly huh, not doing it properly so we go here like it's empty but then we go up there and oh there's uh, something up there how do we get it gonna go here but oh we need the speed booster oh no it's actually gonna be quite a hassle to get it <laughs> so do we have enough room to charge speed booster here actually we do huh. I was not expecting that actually <laughs> so I guess we have to charge it here And then, as soon as we break that thing, we just stop. That's pretty much the strategy. Not gonna have enough time this time. Crap. Very tricky. I think there might be an alternate strategy I'm not thinking of, by the way. Because, like, because of the design of the room, I have to assume there's an alternate strategy. Let me just try something. I don't know if it's possible. I have to jump right as soon as I get here. And I have to shoot too. Okay, it won't work. I have to do it the, uh, the wrong way. <laughs> but I believe if you get the wave beam, there is an easier way to do this. Got it! Yeah, not... not <laughs> At least this time it wasn't like uh, 15 minutes of attempts. It was more like 2 minutes of attempts. So that's not too bad. But I do believe you need like the wave beam and uh, use a different power up uh, attempt uh, to do it uh, the intended way. But the way I did it is also valid too, technically. Yep, obviously. Look at the floor. Don't be a David Joff moment. That is a massive explosion, you stupid thing. And these things just want to block the door, it's kind of annoying. Die. Oh, also, there was a power up here.
Uh, no, it, it might be in the other area, actually. What do you know it is? Well, the problem here is that uh, I can't really uh, <laughs> jump up uh, upwards. I guess I'm supposed to just speed boost uh, into it. Yeah, I need a speed boost. Again, speed boost. <laughs> Mercury's team really like the speed boost uh, puzzles from Zero Mission Infusion. There. Got it. Not too bad. And now we gotta talk to Adam. Uploading data. This area, Frenia, appears to have been a sanctuary. The Mokin conducted ceremonies and rituals here. Now it all lies in ruin. That looks pretty good if you ask me. It was likely destroyed this area. The chaos following the Like it doesn't feel like it's in ruins. Match what Quiet Road said. They have turned it into a comic. I have also detected the presence of an unusually powerful axe. Recall that the Emmy in this area could see through the rain and stun targets with an electric shock. My sensors indicate this Emmy has been reactivated. We can assume that Raven Beat is behind this too. Make good use of the Phantom Cloak and you should have nothing to fear. This wave Emmy? Be careful, Samus. Massive uh, detection range. You have to use the Phantom Cloak to be invisible to it. Like, it's detection range is literally the entire uh, screen, or the entire area it's in. Like, almost, I guess. Not quite, but it feels like it's just the entire area. It might as well be. Kind of was we needed to use a charge beam to open a door. And it just leads to here. Hmm. I guess this is where the item is. But we need seeker missiles to get that. Mm. Ice. Ah, electricity. That thing hurt like hell. And all he gave me was a stupid uh, thing to charge my uh, missiles with, not my energy. For all the damage it did. Do you believe there's an item here? Yep. Uh, I think it might be a power bomb though. Yeah, power bomb. And we don't have power bombs yet. Well, we do, but we can't use them until we get the respective item. These are very Metroid-like, these things, because of the way they float. Hmm, not supposed to be here. I guess we're supposed to be here. Man, these things are nimble. They used to be only stuck on one platform, but now they go to wherever they want, basically.
Ice. Okay, time to deal with the Emmy. See? Whole area. It detects. It's slow underwater at least. Not slow enough though. Damn it. I tried to counter, didn't work. Also, I kept screwing up uh, and uh, going into a morph ball when I was trying to use the grapple beam. That's my bad. Hey, this is something I actually was supposed to mention earlier. D, the, there's no customizable controls for this game. There really should have been. Because there's lots of buttons here. So basically, you, at this point, you just rush through the area. Don't try to be stealthy with the uh, wave, uh, uh, dude. He's just straight up too, like, it's he's too hard to, to, to play around, to stealth around, to sneak around. That's the word I was looking for. Just go, go, go. Don't accidentally morph ball like I did. Because I, I feel grapple being assigned to ZL might be a bit more comfortable for me. At least sometimes. a lot of energy back. And yeah, these things just want to block the door. It's kind of annoying. Like, they're lame for that. This is just a safe station, so whatever. Actually, there is a door that we could probably be open over here at some point. Probably passage will open from the other side. Ow, god, those explosions are so massive. If it, had, if it had seen me, that that the door would have closed, and I would have screwed myself over. So that was risky right there. Crap, it didn't, I was hoping it wouldn't see me. still coming over here? I, I guess it is. We're just gonna have to keep the phantom cloak on. I guess I do have to sneak around this thing occasionally. Hopefully it won't see me on the way down. 
Okay, it's going away. Good. Or, I think it's going away. It might come back towards this direction. And it did! I'm surprised it hasn't used its, wa its wave attack yet, by the way. It has a wave beam attack that it's supposed to use to stun you with. It hasn't used it against me for some reason. Can you use your Aunch thing? Yes! And now we've opened the passage for this. Actually, you know what? I will save here. I mean, we're about to use fight the boss, but uh, it's not that difficult and I do get a checkpoint. Just... There's a thing I want to do with this boss that I'm not sure if I'll be able to do if I screw things up. Die. Just making sure there wasn't anything secret here. And it's about time we got energy part number four. Feels like it took forever for us to get that. One missile back. Yep, well worth it. I'm supposed to do something here, but I can't do it yet. So let's go back. Oh, it's here. Look at that thing now over there. Is this thing clearly indicate to us that we will fight a boss, but let's fight it like this. Die! Oh no, it did lock it, damn it! Yeah, this boss is very disliked by a lot of people. It's got a homing property thing, and you cannot lock its shots either. Yeah, very difficult. I was I was supposed to get some early damage on this thing, but I missed my opportunity. Where do I start back? Just before the room? Yeah, okay, that's good. Gotcha. I'm doing terribly just to get boss, by the way. Whoops. Okay, that was my bad. I did- you do like half damage to this thing when you speed boost it at the start. But that doesn't mean it's like a cakewalk after that. And I don't believe you can do another speed boost while you're in the room. If you can, then... Well, that makes the fight a lot easier now, doesn't it? Gotcha. But when it's lightning like that, you can't damage it. That's really annoying. Wow. There, got it. Just had to be a bit more aggressive with it. Another reason why people don't like this boss is because you have to aim at it to, to defeat it. It's not on the ground like all, all the other bosses are. You actually have to keep uh, aiming diagonally or upwards at it to actually keep damaging it. Anyway, pretty obviously our reward for defeating this thing is a STORM missile! Not the Seeker missiles or that Prime 2 power-up that everyone dislikes. This is actually a pretty good uh, rendition of that uh, power-up from Prime 2. 
it was always kind of lame, but uh, here it's actually good for damage because you can simultaneously aim uh, at uh, the same enemy over and over for additional missile damage. So it's it's, it's actually a pretty good power up. Uh, them uh, repurposing the seeker missile to be good like that, very impressive, Mercury Steam. Very impressive indeed. It also gives you a better purpose for having lots and lots of missiles for your for your character. Missiles. We sure need more now. And now we gotta go over here to make use of the missile. Uh, by the way, if, if sometimes the sometimes the, the storm missile will not actually aim properly, so um, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, when those things are moving, they're actually pretty weak. But once they reach a door like that, they actually harden and uh, they're actually pretty difficult to destroy at that point. I think it might be more appropriate to go through this door, but we have to go all the way back here now. Yeah, we can go through here. Oh, there, 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 there was the attack. It didn't hit me, but there was the attack. The, so that the that uh, Emmy detects you pretty quickly, but uh, that does not mean that it's uh, gonna always uh, be aware of where you are, despite that. So as long as you can keep your distance from it, even if it detects you, you, you it loses sight when it goes of you pretty easily. It'll still like go to where you are, but uh, you'll be able to go escape through the door. Most importantly. Huh. Oh yeah, power bomb item. Oh no! Oh god! I'm hoping not to get hit. I should have done the counter right there, but I missed. And their shots go through each other, that's really lame. Ow. I swear I was gonna get hit right there. I really need to do the counter against the thing. Sting. Oh wow, it actually managed to hit me. Ah, god damn it! Please tell me I'm just. Well, it's a mini boss. I'm gonna start before the room, but. That is actually a uh, really frustrating loss right there. I hate those things so much, and you have to fight two of them now. Even in normal mode, they're very annoying. And I'm gonna start to. I'm gonna try to use the storm missile power up a lot more now. Need to counter too. It's because this is the annoying thing about these guys, right? They've got a punch you can counter when they get close to you, but they also have this uh, red uh, charge beam uh, sword attack that really hard to dodge if you you don't uh, always expect it. This is why it's really difficult to. Uh, focus on uh, countering these guys, because you always have to assume they'll use the red sword beam instead. Oh wow, that storm assault is actually much more effective than I expected. See? I was uh, hoping for it to do the counter this time, but uh, nope. 
It had to use the uh, sword beam attack. Red sword beam attack. Again! It used it again! But yeah, Storm Missile is actually pretty effective against these guys. Deals lots of damage while allowing you to just focus on dodging. You just have to hold the missile button to activate Storm Missile. Like, uh, just hold it like you're charging the missiles, for instance. Pretty neat. Again, Storm Missile, pretty good uh, way of making the Seeker Missile actually good. Not complete hot trash as it has been since uh, it was first introduced back in Prime 2. Space jump! Uh, because we have the space jump now, spin boost or whatever is uh, has been uh, overridden. We don't have it anymore. And if you sequence break to get space jump before spin boost, I believe if you, if you get the spin boost, it just doesn't do anything for you. Oh, space jump is still limited underwater. Can't you go higher without uh, the gravity suit when you first jumped. So guess uh, how they're going to limit us from now on. <laughs> Uh, freaking uh, space jump with us. Now that being said, I think we all know where we need to go now. There was that, uh, yeah, like it wants us to go back here because there was that place. Uh, that uh, we needed to go through a bunch of water, but uh, quite uh, do it because we only have one jump. Now we got enough jumps. Go go go! Need to go right down there, I think. Can I go back up? Not until I get the screw attack. RIP! It's just two missiles, so it's not that big of a deal, but still. Going back to Burrania. Okay, so we haven't, it feels we haven't been here in a while, but uh, there's uh, quite a few things. I got stuck here, by the way, um, at a certain area that we're probably going to get to in this video. But uh, Berenia doesn't leave much of an impact because of the lack of its, uh, you know, a lack of uh, words, 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 Emmy area. Because there's no Emmy, it doesn't feel like it's as big of a deal, right? Well, it's a pretty big deal now. I go up here. And now here. I think I could have done this a long time ago, maybe. Hmm. We gotta go down. We gotta go way down. Oh, because if you don't jump, you do not get to use the space jump uh, underwater. Just gonna say that right now. I think, I think that's how it works. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, can I go up, please? I guess not. I'm gonna have to jump over over here. Thing. Die. There's an item somewhere around here, but I can't get it right now. Do I want to fall down there? Not yet. Let's get a quick refill of energy first, because I'm down two energy tanks. Yep, just an item. I can't counter this thing, or I, maybe I can. Because when it when it's electrified, you you can't counter it. But if it's about to attack and it loses electricity, well, then obviously you can counter it. And anyway, we're below the thing now, so that's good. I think when I have the storm missile ready, that thing actually is aware of that, and because of that, it immediately goes for the attack. Alright. Die. Save point. That's okay, and that's cute. They literally turn into the same creature again. Kind of annoying. Oop. We're going over here. Wish we could go up there, but we can't quite do that. Slash shift. More energy tanks are always good. <laughs> that being said, I'm pretty sure like uh, the final enemies, like final mini bosses and final boss, still kill you in like three hits in this mode, hard mode. <laughs> Even when you got all the energy tanks. And now we went below this thing. Oh, and you can double jump again. We're at the bottom of the sea floor. This thing was trying to absorb my health. Annoying. Well, so what are we supposed to do now? Now we're supposed to go to the right. This is where I got stuck, by the way. I'm pretty sure some other people might have gotten stuck as well. Very easy to get stuck here. go below here and you're like huh where do I go from here but well, what about this thing up here you can break it open you remember the diffusion beam right you gotta remember about the diffusion beam you know the reason why you might get stuck is because you go here you bomb and it's like oh you need power bombs or something well we don't got power bombs so let's go back and see when the game tells us we can get power bombs well no you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to blow up the thing with the diffusion beam so you can get go through here I was stuck for like a good 10 minutes before I realized that. First time I played. Ow. Better be dead. I think the game lagged a bit because of the uh, Aeon effect I had right going on right there. Hmm. 
missiles. Give me missiles. Die. So do you. For some reason, we've got to use the Phantom Cloak. Could have also just flash shift above the thing. And I think the flash shift is just fast enough. Maybe, maybe not. I go here. Oh, that was the bad thing to do. And what about that thing over there? How the hell are we supposed to reach that? Maybe if I had some kind of wave beam. Something right here. Well, I can't reach it from here. Oop. Are we gonna make the whole thing fall? Apparently so. Boom! We're supposed to go down, 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 where it broke the whole thing down. Now we can go here. And nowhere else. <laughs> Power up. I wonder if it has anything to do with gravity. Because it's not what we need right now. We need somebody to deal with the water thing. But for some reason, gravity suit deals with that too. Pretty snazzy in this game, the gravity suit. And that's the last suit we get. Really reduces damage taken from enemy attacks and insulates Samus from extreme cold and lava. It also allows Samus to move freely in water. Mission to gravity suit slightly increases the dash melee's damage. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Just really just lets you uh, go in water. Well, it also lets you survive cold and temperatures now. But that's just an extra boost now, isn't it? Hey, power bombs. We need a screw attack now. Let's go over here. Adam's got something to say to us. Uploading data. Checks have spread across the entire planet. Assume all living organisms have by now been replaced by apps. Even Ravenbeak? There is another problem you may have noticed. The temperature of ZDR has started to fall. How does that work? I cannot say for certain if the X are to blame, but the drop in temperature is indisputable. The gravity suit should keep you insulated from the effect of low temperatures. Even so, beware the unexpected and proceed with caution. Uh, the, uh they'll explain later actually uh, how that works. It's not clear exactly how it actually works logically, but uh, this is just a fun game, though. Let's just actually keep playing it and see what they have to say about it. And with all the screw attack blocks we've been seeing, I think we all know what item we're getting next.
Now we're at the bottom of the planet, but for some reason they decided, no, no, it's perfectly cold. I think... I kind of want to fight the boss, but... Uh, I guess we're just going to keep going. This might be an extra long episode. <laughs> You. And that thing still works, apparently. Hmm. Oh, man. It's it's just over there. <laughs> and then we're after gonna go on a pretty big roundabout before we get it too. It's like they suddenly remembered the diffusion beam was a thing when they were designing the game. Oh, it's you. You've got a shield! And that's how you break it. Okay, so you can triple damage these things. Okay, that attack right there hurts like hell. Do not let it hit you. I think it's four inch tanks worth of damage. In hard mode. No, considering they make us... Oh, I missed the, the timing. See, this is why I have to pay attention. Considering they make us fight these things multiple times, I, I, we, we figured they would change the QTE uh, uh, after uh, after every time. But nope. It's always the same one. Or same timing, I should say. So yeah, that was that thing. With the storm missile, they, they, the fight with these things are even shorter than normal, so... That's nifty. Can't do anything here. I even know there's clearly going to be something to do later on when this melts again. Because we're at the bottom of the planet. Why? Why is everything frozen? Shouldn't the core of the planet be keeping things warmer than on the surface? No idea. Oh, we, do, we remember this, though. We were here. I think we all remember when I was here. And that's the power bomb thing? Yeah, it is. Okay, whatever. The, the map actually takes into account. That's actually really cool that the map takes into account that I revealed that thing. I'm sure Dread has a pretty good... Uh, map uh, for that. Hmm. Missiles. Boring. But it's also a shortcut once we get uh, power bombs. That's nifty. Um, actually, I kind of well, no, I can't do anything because it's frozen now, and I already acquired it anyway. The door's frozen over. Very convenient way of keeping us from continuing game. I already got that thing. I believe it was the charge beam. So yeah, thanks to the water being frozen over, if we very conveniently cannot go to those others door that, that other door up there. And if you didn't get that power up over there, well you can't get that anymore right now. Whoa, 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 it's gonna explode. 
I keep forgetting these things uh, like to explode. At least, at the very least, when they explode, they affect everything. That's just for missiles. I want health back. And this is the intro. What do you got to say now, Adam? Adam. Uploading data. I have determined the reason for the planet's rapid cooling. Thermal energy is no longer being routed from Cataris. This area, Arteria, is located in the depths of the planet. Much of it will be frozen. Find a way to thaw any frozen doors and pools you encounter. I don't think we do any of that. The central control system you activated in Cataris is still operational. Some force must be physically blocking the routing of thermal energy. I suspect a powerful X is involved. You must annihilate it. Yep, now we go fight after it. After solving the problem, the cooling has prevented you from exploring this area. There must be a vital ability hidden somewhere here. Something that could screw over my enemies? I do believe so. So we're gonna fight that boss and then we're gonna save and that'll be it for this video. But we do have to go to Cataris to uh, be able to fight it, so it's still a while. Oh, we can go here. Y'all remember this? Missile tank. That's what was here all along. The fact they froze over even this area though. Hmm. Gotta go over here. Er, hmm. oh, I think we gotta go by here. There was a power up here all along. Even the Emmy doors are frozen for some weird reason. Okay, so this is the pool I was talking about. Remember how we had to break uh, the thing on the other side to make it appear? Well, this this would not actually have any frozen water here at this stage of the game because the, the water was never put there if your sequence broke. But the game still considers that to be an area that's off limits. So because there's no water, you go right through, but because the game considered off limits, you die instantly because the game assumes you went through the floor. Very weird. I think we have to go to... yeah. Now we can go in that fire area that we haven't gone through in a long time. But not this one. Er, no, no, we can't go because it's all frozen. I guess it's because they didn't want to redesign the area to be kind of frozen-ish. Yeah, so this is the weird way this thing works. It, like, it explodes and freezes everything, but it very conveniently will not go through walls, obviously. Hi. So we can't explore the areas that would have had uh, some power-ups in. That's a shame. But we're going to the Cataracts right now. Uh, 
um, did the game freeze on me? I think the game froze on me. What the hell? Okay, no, it, it's fine. That's weird. It, it was just a still image. It makes sense because like there's no power, right? But uh, it it felt like the game crashed on me. Ugh. That would have been creepy. Flashbacks to Metroid Prime's uh, Chozo Ruins from Talon 4 uh, elevator. Right, guys? Is that in the earlier version of the game, the one everyone uses for sequence breaking, uh, that uh, elevator was uh, very... It would very often crash on you. Like, the game would crash. I don't think we're supposed to go in this direction, but let's do it anyway. Yeah, we're not supposed to go in this direction. Oh, we are, never mind. That thing dealt like four tanks of damage, one hit. Better give me my health back. We are going directly to the boss. And this. This is a fan favorite for some reason. I don't think it's actually particularly special, but lots of people really like this boss. We may have seen it before, if some of you are paying attention. Of course, it was very dead back then, but thanks to a special boot boost of the X, it's now animated. And if we had gone back to the area it was uh, in uh, 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 earlier in the game uh, while uh, we were still going around exploring, we would have seen that the corpse was no longer there, you know, after we released the X. I was in Morph Ball, I can't counter while in Morph Ball! I, I, I remembered some of the moves of this boss, so I could uh, know about a bit of its pattern, but I completely forgot its total pattern. So that's why I, I kept uh, botching up. But it's not that difficult once you learn its pattern. And we're gonna skip the cutscene this time. Why am I using normal missiles? I should be using the storm missiles. That's a mistake I keep doing. Of course, you can't use the storm missiles once you go to the background like this. Gonna deal a ton of damage to this thing. Bro, 
problem. Die. Come on! Ah! Oh, I'm supposed to use the speed booster against the thing. Keep screwing up. Oh, double. But yeah, you can use the speed booster against this thing for some major damage. And now we're gonna go into another counter. And it's pretty much dead at this point. Two counters against this thing, especially without having to use the so often. Almost certainly gonna finish it off. I really need to use flash into all the time. Oh. Yep, dead. Die. Die. Nope. Die! You must die! And no core X fight against this thing, it just dies. So whatever power up it had, we don't get it. Good to know that the X cannot actually survive lava, however. I guess there is a way to get rid of them. Just flood the entire planet in lava. Then it'll be fully clear. Shoot the thing. But yeah, it's too bad I wasn't able to uh, show the speed booster thing against this thing. It, it would have probably finished it off uh, if I had done it uh, then, but uh, I just kept watching the timing. Anyway, now everything else is open, so we just gotta find a room to save and uh, that'll be it. I kind of want to go over there. Like, I kind of want to get some power-ups, but really, we probably should just go back to Arthuria once we get the opportunity. But that's going to be for next video. Right now, we save. Hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I'll have a nice day. Next time, we get the screw attack. Bye-bye!